Hello, you C Sharp XNA users. Um, welcome to your next tutorial. I know this tutorial never came for a while, but now you can look forward to this tutorial. And this tutorial is going to be um covering a very important topic, but often overlooked topic, and it's about single key presses. Now, a lot of people don't teach single key presses because they figure that you can figure it out on your own, but um sometimes it could be a, quite a hassle learning how to do it right so I'm gonna teach you exactly how to do single key presses with XNA now I've worked with a lot of different graphics libraries and by far XNA's way is the easiest because it has the perfect built-in functions to allow you to do to, to detect single key presses so to show you how to do it we're gonna have um, a string called um, um, we're gonna name it text and the value is going to be show so when we press down a button when we, when we press it it's going to um, show our text is going to display show and when we release the button then it's, the text is going to disappear so we're going to be learning about pressing down keys and detecting the releasing of keys and you might be saying why do we have to detect releases well it could be very useful in certain situations especially if you're working with say the mouse and say you're making a paint program and you say that when you click um say you're drawing a line you click to the start point to draw the line you hold it until you drag to a certain point and when you release then it ends up drawing the line right so a release is not a more common one you normally detect for key presses for single key presses but sometimes you want to detect for single key releases so um uh let us get into the code so then after that um we have a boolean variable that called display text which is equal to false so basically the text will not be displayed to the screen right now and then now we have um we created two keyboard states uh on um, a key key state or we can say that's a current key state but I'll set the key state that is the actual um key that you're pressing and keyboard state previous key state which is equal to the key state that happened last update and then we have our we're, load, we're creating a sprite font to display our text so in the initialize nothing we load in the load content we load our sprite font um now in the update this is where we actually detect for single key presses so um we already know about the function is key down and that's a very great function because it detects for continuous um it detects if the key is pressed down for every single frame or every single update and that's cool but um that's not good for single key presses because when you the the update method will update probably 60 frames per second right which is what you really ideally want in the game so if you press down even if you press down the down key for a second it like it will detect that so many times it will detect that at 60 frames it will detect that you've pressed it 60 frames or 60 times because of um because of the timing that you pressed it if we were able to like press down a button and release it in like say less than a millisecond or a millisecond then it wouldn't matter but for now we only want to detect it as though the button was only pressed once and then it won't detect it after again so what we do is that we set previous key state is equal to key state so this is what previous key state is what happened in the last frame and then this up um this time we said key state equal to keyboard I get state so the new keyboard value right so then right here in our if statement we say that if e if key state key down is equal to keys down so if it's equal to the down arrow key but the previous and the previous key state is equal to key up and um no is key up um the down key so to make that to make it make more sense uh if if previous key state um, if before the last frame you weren't pressing the down key then this is true that means it was up and um, if this frame you were actually pressing the down key then this is true meaning you're pressing down 
So if this is true, and this is true, then we it means that we have pressed the button. Now you might be saying, how is this detecting single key presses? Well, look at it this way. So say last, okay, say we never pressed anything, so we just started the program. So you never press anything. So key state um is equal to null, right? So each time updates, key state is equal to null. Now um <clears throat> this update. It goes through this line and says previous key state is equal to key state and key state is equal to null. So previous key state is equal to null. Then it goes here, but we're actually pressing the down key this loop. So key state is equal to keys dot down. So previous key state is equal to null, but this is equal to keys dot down. So it's saying if the key if the key press down is um down, and if the if the down arrow key isn't being pressed then display text equals true right so say we say we hold say we're holding down the down arrow key right we loop again so previous key state is equal to key state therefore meaning that previous key state is equal to keys dot down and since we're still holding down the down arrow key key state is equal to down so this statement is true this time around but this statement is not true because the key the down arrow key is being pressed, so that means this won't be this um if statement will be false, and that's why I will only detect the single key press. Now, if I was to release the down key and then press it again, then this statement would be true again, and therefore only detects detects one key press. If that makes sense to you. <clears throat> now we have an else if right here, and it's a complete opposite. So I switch this from is key down to is key up and switch this from is key up to is key down and what this will do is for, uh, check for key release so if the down key is released so if you're not pressing the down key then it will set the te display text equal to false meaning that the text won't show up on the screen anymore and the draw function simple and or the draw method simple enough we say if display text is equal to true we draw it to the screen um, and let us run this to see what we get so in our game window we see nothing right now but if I press a down arrow key it shows up now I'm holding the down arrow key right now and then once I release it then it doesn't do anything I mean it disappears the text disappears when I hold it it stays on when I release it disappears so on and so forth so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial um, the next tutorial is gonna be on uh, single mouse um, presses or, or like yeah, um, single mouse state or whatever. It's the exact same way to do it, just using the mouse state. But for those of you who just wanna just to see me do it, then I'll show it to you in the next tutorial. So thanks for watching this. Hope you enjoyed it, and bye.